The summer months are closing in. Here's a weather forecast on the stock market. In this short episode, we'll take a good look at the Swedish stock market for a strength measurement and report of what to expect over the summer. For there is actually quite a lot we can tell from the current charts. Things that should play out with a high level of probability. But before gushing in the sunlight, do remember that nothing in this episode is financial advice. These are my own thoughts and conclusions only. And if this episode helps you bring clarity to the overall state of the market, then please return the favor by hitting the like and subscribe buttons. And share this little sunshine snippet with others who may be lost in the dark, aimless and without purpose. Starting off on the weekly chart, whenever the OMXS30 has been properly trending, the combination of EMA ribbons and green Ichimokus have accounted for strong levels of support. The same goes for the daily chart, albeit with not the same precision and hit rate. Some argue that this is a bull flag for continued moves up. I beg to differ, for these moves are much too volatile to qualify for a flag. The steadily declining RSI on the daily further supports that thesis as it is rather unconvincing of any strength. Because for this to be bullish, I'd like for the recent RSI levels to have been well and consistently into their 70s and 80s. This here rather shows signs of exhaustion and tells me that whatever power that brought us up here was from the last and lonely drips of petrol. And besides, these sell-off candles are rather aggressive in comparison to the bullish ones. This tells us there is a lot of bearish power underlying these whipsaw moves. Now, when looking at this formation, I see either of two things. Either we have a descending channel or we have a descending triangle. If it were to be a triangle, it is bearish regardless and would nicely align with the summer sentiments. For as many of you may already know, the summer months are typically weak and range bound. This in combination with the overall technical weakness that took us up here to begin with also speaks against a sudden northbound outbreak. It would be like snow in July, of course given that you're in the northern hemisphere. For let's face it, what sad creature is on the market during those rare and precious summer months when you could instead have outdoor barbecues with your family and friends in 12 degrees and rain? Going back to the daily chart, the index is currently resting comfortably on the EMA ribbons and a fat so bastard green Kumo support. But as the price action shows clear mini market cycle distributional characteristics, my neutral take from a probabilistic point of view would be that we're bound for either a price or time based correction. With that said, when we bake the normally dull summer months into the equation with these rather conflicting technicals and their prevalent underlying weakness, I say we have good reason to expect range-bound moves ahead. And if we were to be in for that, then any moving averages, indicator support and resistances and so on cease to be valid, for those only offer support and resistance whenever the equity in question is trending. Instead, once it begins to flick back and forth, it rather tells us it's going nowhere. And finally, another thing that further supports this is how many stocks I've looked at lately no longer seem to move in unison. Until recently, most stocks seem to behave as a collective. Now I see more and more individual stocks diverging in sentiment from one another, with some being strong looking whilst others simultaneously look weak. That to me is a textbook confirmation of sideways boredom to follow. The only alternative to that is when the markets have topped out and certain industries begin to topple over, yet so far there are no technical clues of a reversal. It also spurs on the importance for any active traders and market participants to step up their TA activity as such index movements may produce some short-term outlier winners and losers. For simply sticking with whatever positions you have is plain lazy, it'd be like wearing shorts and t-shirts all year round in a country with distinct weather seasons. With that said, I would therefore not be surprised at all if we were to see some wildly fluctuating moves over the summer months. Moves that may take us down by 2-300 points or so. 
I'd even go as far as to say it stands a very high chance of occurring. And any such outcome would neatly coincide with the reliable EMA ribbons on the weekly for a support bounce up in the fall for a final blow off move to the stratosphere before this drunken feast is over and all this emotion ridden market is left with is the hangover of a lifetime. That was all for now, thank you and goodbye.